when I was building, and I went to a local pawn shop here, um, which I now own, and um, you know their attitude back at that point was, you should be so lucky that we're here to serve you, rather than it being the other way around. It's Ken from the 828.com. Diamonds are everlasting, much like Allen's Jewelry and Pawn, which is celebrating its diamond anniversary. That's 30 years for those of you keeping score at home with the modern gift giving guide. And it's all because of the hard work and dedication of the man whose name is on the doors and on the stores. I kind of learned this from a family. You're going back to Yancey County days is, you know, I'm kind of like a dog. If you're loyal to me, I'll be loyal to you. And uh, Honestly, that's one of the reasons that we drives that we keep the business going. The emergency store was down on Patton Avenue, and it was, it was 600 square feet. It was you further west, and um, and now actually my office is the same size as my first store. Tall's remind myself where I started. How did that store grow into a bigger Patton Avenue store and locations on Tunnel Road and in Cherokee? You know, your customer need. It's uh, you know that, and also our retail side. I mean, we're you know we. We stock more jewelry than anybody does in Western North Carolina, or you possibly the state. Tell me about your first customer 30 years ago. Uh, your first customer, he, he would come in to borrow money. He was putting six kids through college, um, working, selling vacuum cleaners. He was one of these guys who just busted his butt every day. And he always made sure his kids had you know, what they needed. And he would actually come in the store, sit in the store, wait on customers while I ran to the bank to borrow money on a charge card to, to where I could advance him money. And he was a customer up until last year when he passed. That's customer service. That's customer service. But when you're looking at your customer that needs a little short-term loan and they're coming in maybe to borrow $100, um, you know, that $100 to them may be as important as to a, like $1,000 to one person or maybe $10,000 or $100,000 to somebody else. It's all relevant life where you're at. As Allen's Jewelry and Pond grew to a larger Patton Avenue store, along with an East Asheville location on Tunnel Road and Allen's in Cherokee, there are many shiny new diamonds and jewelry for every budget and great unique finds with vintage pieces too, plus musical equipment, electronics, tools, and much more for the home. One thing these years you have not been able to find in the store though, blue ink. I had about $17 in the bank after I got through building houses and was, th was thinking about getting into the pawn shop business is I was writing a check out which I was going to overdraw on the account and I was writing with a blue pen and I looked at blue pen and said I'll never write with blue pen again that's the reason I'm broke. <laughs> so no blue pens. So you know blue pens. <laughs> um, you, we have employees run around you grabbing pens out of the drawer so the customer leaves a pen behind they throw it in the trash. Well, no, no, please don't write with blue pen. <laughs> but j just kind of superstitious like that. 30 years of unmatched customer service in Western North Carolina. Come celebrate the diamond anniversary of Allen's Jewelry and Pond on Patton Avenue, Tunnel Road, and in Cherokee.